Hey yo, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how, where to start and how to start when you are starting out from ground zero in tech. Let me explain. Let's say you are thinking about getting into tech, you are thinking about switching your career, you are thinking about making those passive changes in your life. So where to start? In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what to do step by step. Do not worry. If it is the first time we're connecting, my name is Eugene. I am a senior iOS developer. This is my channel. I talk about iOS and I talk about career development. So even if you are not iOS developer, if you starting with tech, if you're curious about tech, stick around and subscribe to my channel. It might be useful to you and I hope it is useful to you. So let's get started. So you know nothing about tech. You never work in tech like you want to switch career. So this is a new thing for you. So where do you start? You have to choose one technology. And it is sometimes the most challenging thing for many, many people. Many, many people would tell me like, I don't know. I don't know what to choose. So you can choose web, you can choose native mobile development, iOS or Android. You can look into um, third-party uh, languages and uh, tools such as React Native and Flutter. However, I recommend you to start with native because you can always switch to third-party libraries such as Flutter and uh, React Native, but like to be a good mobile developer, I think I think it is important to start with native, but like I'm biased because I'm a native I was a developer. So uh, you have m overall for the for a beginner you have three specialty web, mobile, and for uh, mobile it is iOS and Android. There is a third field, there's a third specialty that you might want to consider. It's for my undecisive friends, for my friends are who are afraid. Um, of tech and may think they may or may not make it or like kind of want to see and uh, test the waters and uh, see how they like tech in general, it is QA. What QA means is quality assurance, quality assurance engineer, quality assurance engineer test software. The good thing about uh, getting into QA as your starting point in your career, you are gonna have exposure to a lot of tech. You're gonna have exposure to web, you have exposure to the backend, and you have exposure if you're lucky to mobile. And in fact now we have so many mobile products, there's so many mobile teams, so you're probably gonna have exposure to mobile uh, QA is a little bit simpler than software development overall, but there are challenges. If you think about you're getting into QA and you're not going to have to code, it is a mistake because the industry is kind of changing and even in QA, uh, you at some point you do have to code, you do have to learn a programming language. But my recommendation, honestly, would be start with web or start with mobile, iOS or Android, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Then you can expand. So things not to do, things absolutely not to do. Do not pick a random programming language such as Python just to learn a programming language because it's not going to help you. You like a learning a programming language without context is not going to help you. When you are learning a programming language with a context, for example, you are learning JavaScript to build a website, you are learning Swift to build a mobile app, you, you are learning Kotlin or Java to build an Android app, that helps. You have context because you have a programming language and you have programming and you have programming tools. You have uh, tools how to build your software, so that helps. Just a programming language, I mean, it's good knowledge, it's good, it's good to know the programming concepts, but you do have to have um, exposure, you do have to have context. So uh, let's say you know what you want to pick, you know what you want to do, <clears throat> like you selected mobile, web, whatever it is, what to do next. Uh, the next 
step would be is to decide like how do you want to get into that how do you want to learn and uh, there's two ways well it is self-taught route when you studying and teaching yourself how to code by yourself and it is another route is a boot camp and there are many of them and with the boot camp you have a uh, an instructor and they will teach you step by step uh, to build a mobile or web app and which route is better if you are organized and if you are disciplined if you have motivation if you can force yourself study every day and be consistent self-taught route is actually not that bad because it is possible to teach yourself to code and in fact when you go to a boot camp you're gonna probably build similar projects over there like it's just you have a you have an instructor and uh, uh, it's a little bit more intense so it's up to you and also like your fat financial situation bootcamp is not cheap it is about 15 twenty thousand dollars depends on the on the bootcamp there are cheaper ones they are more expensive ones uh, there are boot camps for twenty five hundred but it's normally for the people who already know a thing or two with coding and know how to do mobile apps. They just need to mature a little bit into their professional development. So it varies. But bootcamp or self-taught line, those are two routes. So if you choose a self-taught route, so what do you need to do? You need to create your own curriculum. And the first thing that you want to do is to connect with people on Twitter, on uh, LinkedIn, on the internet, who are in your specialty, who already made it in tech. You want to connect with them. You want to see what they're saying. You want to be in the loop. You want to be in constant, um, not necessarily communication, but in well, like you want to be in the loop, you want to surround yourself by tag people who are already in there. And on Twitter, you can actually ask people, "Hey, where do I start? What is a what is a good roadmap for iOS developer or web developer or Android developer, or what have you?" And YouTube, subscribe to as many content creators that you like. So. The good thing about content creators on YouTube, so you on YouTube you can find anything and you can start learning about tech for free on YouTube. There are free courses on YouTube just to get familiar with the technologies, just to get yourself started. Do it. Do it. Uh, follow as many content creators that like that you like, that uh, resonate with you, that um, you like how they explain things so like it's another important thing and uh, You can start with simple and on not expensive courses on Udemy on Udemy You can find like literally anything and it's, uh, it's where I normally go uh, if I want to look something up uh, but if you oh, oh, if you know software developers in the community, for example, in iOS community, we have Sean Allen, we have Paul Hudson, we have Brad Woon, we have uh, Chris, we have other content creators that ha teach people how to code and they have courses. And you can actually skip the Udemy and uh, connect with one of the uh, content creators and subscribe to their courses. So that that is a also that, that is a also solid solid chance and solid option. If you go to a bootcamp, it's really important. It's really really important to do your research, see what people say, see what people say about bootcamps, see what what reviews people have have about bootcamps. Not every bootcamp that says that you can land a job in six months will actually have have you land a job in the six months. Uh, do your do your extensive research search YouTube search internet search reviews make sure that um, you know what you're getting into because it is a lot it, it is a lot of money and with the uh, with in tech in general if you have persistent persistence if you have patience you can make it
A lot of people don't make insect because they're not consistent, they don't they are impatient, they skip the uh, fundamentals, and they have really hard time dealing with rejections. You just have to you just have to keep going, you just have to keep grounding. But this is how you start with tech. Uh, decide what you want to do. This is more, this is the most important step that you have to take. What you want to do, web, mobile, iOS, or Android. If you still don't know, maybe try QA. QA is a little bit easier, but I, I honestly, I would recommend you to start with iOS or Android or web, one of those. So, um, and stick with it, like connect with the communities, uh, select uh, your um, teaching style, like either it's a boot camp or it's a self-taught route. If you go to self-taught route, connect with the community, see uh, what are content creators over there, what, what kind of courses uh, are out there. Udemy is your friend. You can find many, many uh, information on Udemy. And this is pretty much it. I hope this video was useful. I hope in 2022, well, it's almost the end of 2022, in 2023, maybe you can make Intech and beyond. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions of or any thoughts. I really would like to hear from you. And if you think this video was useful for you, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.